Hi, this is Nerdman from the Maxon training team and in today's quick tip I'm going to show you how to make a cartoony water sloshing effect without using simulations. In this scene I have a cylinder primitive and an oversized editable cube uh, whose axes I've moved further down. I'm going to put them both under a boolean object so that the cube is subtracted from the cylinder. When the cube rotates, the sloshing effect will become apparent. And this is what we are going to try and automate. I'm going to go to my front view and from the character menu, I'm going to add a joint object and I'm going to add a null. I'm going to make the joint child of the null. And then I'm going to make a copy of this joint by pressing Command or Control. And I'm going to move this down. I'm going to zoom in. Make it a child of the previous joint, and you can see the bone between the joints. I'm going to do the same thing with this joint. I'm going to make a copy, I'm going to move it down, and I'm going to make it a child. I'm going to name the middle one ROT for rotation, because this is what we're going to use. Now let's set up the IK. Right click on the joint, go to Rigging Tags, and add an IK tag. Go to the tag and put the last joint in the end and then go to the dynamics, enable them, set strength to zero, drag to zero, and rotation hold to zero. What's gonna happen now is if you press play and move the null, we're gonna get that little dynamic effect on the joint. Stop, undo, and let's see how we can transfer that rotation to the cube. I'm going to do it indirectly. I'm gonna to go to the cube, right click, go to the rigging tags, and add a constraint tag, and I need a spring constraint to add a bit more springiness to it. I only need the rotation, so no position, and get the rotation and put it here where it says target. So now if I press play and I move the null, you will see that the cube rotates as a second join, but we're still quite not done. Stop, undo, and let's do the final bit. I want to be able to move the Boolean object and thus move this as well. So go to the null, right click, go to rigging tags, add another constraint, set that to transform, and in there drop the Boolean object. And from this point onwards, if I go to my 3D view, moving the Boolean object while you're playing the animation, you will see the slushing effect. Add the rest of the models and that's all you have to do. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.